Well, hello, busy professionals, and welcome back to Anticipating the Workplace New Normal Post-COVID-19 video series. And we are now in episode five, and in this episode, we just have one video. So um, in case you don't know me, my name is Gretchen Asher, and I'm a change management consultant. I've been working uh, delivering change management for Fortune 500 companies for nearly three decades. And I firmly believe that this is one of the biggest change challenges facing companies, actually big and small, uh, and around the world, not just the U.S. Over the last several weeks, I've been doing a deep dive into what the data tells us from workplace research firms about what's going to happen as we come out of this um, stay home, stay healthy uh, mandate that we're in these days. And uh, the research firms I have been researching, and I cite these on each of the episodes, it includes uh, Gartner, Gallup, Owl Labs, American Management Association, and uh, Global Workplace Analytics are, are the key research firms. And I've done a deep dive into the data that they are coming up with uh, after surveying uh, a lot of employers and employees uh, across the United States. So in this episode, <clears throat> we're gonna look at what does a work from home strategy, how does it impact loyalty and retention for companies? Okay, let's start out with OWL Labs, some of the data they discovered. Regarding loyalty and retention, remote workers reported 13% higher that they are likely to stay in their current jobs for five years because they're working remotely, and that's a 13% higher comment than their on-site counterparts. Now, when those remote workers were asked what would happen <clears throat> if they no longer could have the work from home option, either full-time or part of the time, and 60% of those respondents, 60% stated that they would expect additional compensation to no longer be able to work from home. And 55% of remote workers stated that they would likely look for another job if they could no longer work remotely in their current employment situation. Now, OWL Labs also surveyed respondents on uh, aspects of their career pro progression being a remote worker. And they said some of the, some employees expressed concern that a lack of office face time or in-person mentorship from managers could feel, they, they feel it could impact their career development. So that's a little bit of a concern for uh, remote workers that they feel is real. Um, however, less than one quarter of remote workers share this concern. So it's notable enough to mention, um, but less than 25% of those respondents actually said it, it was uh, an, a big concern for them. So that means that 68% of the respondents uh, said they are not so concerned that working remotely will impact their career progression. So it was also cited what companies can do to help mitigate this concern, even though it's not actually a, a huge concern, but it certainly is worth paying attention to. So this is just a call out to all HR executives and HR team members. Uh, even though career progression isn't a huge concern for remote workers, it is enough to make sure that when you have put together your work from home strategy for your company, that you consider what needs to happen to support those people, particularly if anyone is working remotely 100% of the time, what are you gonna to put together to help uh, remote workers 
not backslide in their career progression? Uh, how are you going to implement with managers uh, how they can ramp up their mentorship and, and their ability to help their team members uh, grow and progress in their careers? Uh, that's an important consideration uh, to make sure you have a plan around, around that. I just had an email exchange with a client this morning, uh, and they are beginning to think through their post-COVID-19 plan, and what are they going to do, bringing people back, what are they gonna do with specific groups? I so wish I could mention the client's name, but I don't have permission, so I, I don't wanna do that. Um, they already have a, a great work from home strategy and what they're going to do, I discovered this morning, an entire department that took up half of one of their buildings, they're not going to bring back on site. Uh, I'm sure they're going to have hoteling spots for people if they want to come into the office, but they have seen, as, as many companies have seen, that um, People are working productively remotely, and for those people who want to continue to work remotely, they're setting them up to ensure that they can comfortably and easily do that. So this has been a new transition for this client because of the pandemic situation, that they're not bringing back an entire uh, department that takes up half of a building. And when we were communicating on email, I did mention they have to think through a strategy uh, to keep people on their career paths and to keep mentorship alive and all those good things. And one more point that OWL Labs um, cited based on their research is that remote workers have consistently reported that working remotely increases their feelings of empowerment, their feelings of being trusted by their leadership teams, and it grows their competencies in working independently and being self-directed. So that's certainly a positive for working remotely. Okay, now I'm going to put up a chart from OWL Labs, their uh, 2019 State of Remote Work study. And I'm just gonna let you take a look at it. I'll just say a few things, but I'm going away. Um, but this is, this is interesting. This is a comparison of specific questions around loyalty and retention comparatively between remote workers and on-site workers. So for all of you data geeks, you're gonna love taking a look at this chart. Uh, state, state of remote work study uh, for 2019. Well, that's all for episode five. I think that was really interesting data. I hope you found it useful. And next we are heading into episode six in which we'll look at the what were reported in, in many of the surveys and go through the obstacles of remote working. So as always, if you'd like to reach out to me, I'd be so happy to answer any questions that I'm able to answer. Uh, just look below, you'll find a link where you can contact me. And until next time, stay safe, everybody. I am the Change Whisperer.